Yeah. And today we are going to discuss uh, one of the data type called list. Okay. So yesterday we discussed about strings, right? And today we are going to discuss about list. Okay. So up to now what we saw like with one variable, we are going to store only one value. Am I correct? So yesterday what we saw... we took one variable and we stored only one value at a time am i correct so one variable one value instead of that we need one variable but for that variable we need to store multiple values like group of values if we want to store within one variable we are going to use list okay see what is the purpose of list? Lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable. Okay. So let us see the syntax. So LST. So this is LST here also. Don't think this is something like that. Here LST also one variable. But the value assigning is going to change like this. See, instead of storing... Uh, it, like if we are not using this what we need to do a is equals to one b equals to two c equals to three d equals to four so to store four values we need to use four different variables so instead of that what we are doing we are taking a single variable and inside that we are assigning multiple data means multiple values so in this case, in these cases, we are going to use list. Okay, what is the purpose of list? With a single variable, we can store multiple values. Okay, and here uh, you can store any kind of data. Okay, so here uh, all I took integers. No, instead of that, you can take any type of data. This is string. This is integer. This is float. So like that, you can store heterogeneous types of data. Heterogeneous means different, right? So you can store different types of data into one variable. Okay, this is the advantage with list. Here they will ask one interview question like, what is the difference between list and array? Syntactically, both are same, but there is a small difference. You can uh, check that, okay? Try to know the difference between list and array. Okay. And yesterday also we saw the indexing while using strings. How we used index of 0, index of 1, index of 2 to get the data. In the same way, if you want to get the first value from the list, you need to use the same index here. Print LST index of 0. What it will print? What it will print? I'm asking you only. It's getting error. Why? No man site will give Python. Yeah. So what is the thing? Yesterday you saw yes, you took Python in a string. Okay, but here what you are doing, you are taking a list of values and you are separating them with the comma. So in this case, Python will be Python index will be zero, three like the value three index will be one, six point five index will be two, like that it will take. Understand Vasavi? How it's going to take? So if you run, it will print Python. Okay. Understand? If you give two, what will be the output? Six point five. Yeah, and if you give three, yesterday you saw that didn't give any error at all. But if you try here, it will give list index out of range. Okay, you have only uh, values up to second index, zero index, one index, and second index. 
there is no any value with this third index so it's going to give you list index out of range error okay is it clear is it clear i'm asking uh, it's clear okay and yesterday we saw slicing right the same slicing concept you can apply on the list as well okay print list one index of zero colon two what will be the output for the slicing one python and 6.5 are you sure? See, I'm not using any step size here, okay? I'm not applying any step size here. What is the default step size? What we yesterday we discussed, the default step size is one. So what it will do first, and the thing I think you remember, it won't include end index. So what is end index two? What is the value in second index 6.5? It won't include, right? How you are telling it will take Python and 6.5? It will take Python and three because the default step size is one. Yesterday, what I what I told. So first, it will print zeroth index value Python. Then it will add one to this zero. Zero plus one equals to one, and it will take the value from that one index. What is the value in first like a one index three? Understand? See if you print. Okay. okay. It will give Python and three. The default step size is one only. Okay. Now, if you give four and step size, I gave two. What is the output? Now you can apply that step size and you can tell me. So it won't include end index. End index is four. So it will take up to Six only. So, what will be the output here? What is the output here? Think Python and three six point five six. What what? What was we you told? Python, okay. Three six point five six. See, see, here I gave the step size as two. If I didn't okay. specify the step size, it will take as you specified. But at this time, what it will do first? It will print the value from zeroth index. What is the value from zeroth index? Python. Python. Then it will add this two. If you didn't specify uh, any step size, it's going to take one. But here I specified 2, right? So 0 plus okay. 2, that will become 2. What is the step size? 2. 6 zero plus two, 5. Yeah, it will print. Then 2 plus 2, 4. But end index, oh, we won't include end index, right? It will stop. So it will print only Python and 6.5. See? Okay, okay. So there, that's what I told. Once you listen the class, try to revise that again then only you can understand okay okay yeah and the slicing also same negative indexing everything whatever we discussed and strings yesterday the same thing will applicable here okay but here we have some written methods here for list we can discuss those okay Okay, and uh, for example, I want to add extra value, okay, to the end of the list. I have eight and additionally, I want to add nine, okay, add nine to end. Okay, at that time, what we are going to do, we are going to use append method, okay. What append going to do, append will add the particular value to the end of the list c 
see it added nine okay if you have any doubt you can print here also see first it didn't add but when you did this append it added to the end of the list okay like you can add as many values as you want See, it's going to add n to, to the list n. One by one value, it's going to add. Okay, this is append method. Okay. Then, if you want to copy a list to another list. Okay. How you can do copy. LST2. This is my new list. LST2 is my new list. And to that, I want to copy the LST1. So lst1 dot copy. Okay. So that what it's going to do? It's going to copy all the elements from lst1 to lst2. Okay. Print lst2. See. I printed LST2, not the LST1. So what it did, it printed whatever the values we have in LST1. It will copy all the values to this LST2 and it will print. Okay, you can see the same values in LST1 as well. This is just copying. How we can copy a list to another list. Okay, then you have clear. If you want to remove all the elements, okay, means... If you want to make a list empty, if you want to make a list empty, so then you can use clear. Okay, it won't remove the list. It will just remove all the element from the list and it will make it as empty. Okay, lst2.clear. Okay, and if you print after clearing the element, See what it did when you print after clearing. It removed all the elements and it just kept the test empty. Okay. It won't remove the list. It will just remove all the elements and it will make the test empty. Okay. This is clear. And yesterday you saw what is the purpose of count. It will give you the occurrence of that element. How many times an element repeated? Okay. See, now just I will print lst1 dot count of nine. Just I want to know how many times nine occurs. Means how many times nine repeated in that list. It just repeated two times. Okay. If you print, if you want to check how many times Python repeated, it will give one. So it will tell how many times that particular value repeated in the list. Okay. That is purpose of count. Okay. Then one more method is extend. Okay, here I will take one more list. Okay, what I want to do, I want to add all the elements from list two to list one. Okay, see here after nine, I want to add one comma two comma three comma four. Means what I want to do, I want to take all the elements from list two and I need to add to list one. Okay, here we can go with extend list one dot extend lst two. Let me print that lst one now. See, it added one, two, three, four. Okay, instead of extend, we if you use append. Then lst2. 
So let's see what it will do. So what it will do, you know, it will add this one comma two comma three comma four as a new list inside that list. Answer up in spelling, Jude. Okay, sure. Yeah, see, it add it add one more list inside this first list. What means? append going to take this whole list as a single element and it will add but when it's come to extend what extend do you know it will take one by one element and it will add to this first list okay first it will take one and it will add to this list one at n. It will take two, it will add. It will take three, it will add. It will take four, it will add. When you use extend, means it will go through one by one and it will take and it will add as a single element, one by one. When it's come to append, the whole second list, it will consider as a single element. In case of extend, it will consider these four elements as different four values. Did you understand? See, it will take one by one and it will add as one as one element, second as one element, third as one element, fourth as one element. Like one by one it will take. In append, it will add that whole one comma two comma three comma four as one element. Is it clear or uh, do I need to repeat? Hello. Can you repeat one more time? Yes. See here. If you use a pen, okay? If you use append here, it will take one comma two comma three comma four. This whole as a single element, and it will add that as an element inside this list. Okay. Okay. And in case of extend, it will iterate. It means it will take one by one. Okay. Let me show you the difference. Can check length. See, when you did that uh, append one, it just add a single and the length incre incremented by one. I already have eight elements, so it appended it one and the length increased by one. When you come to extend, it will take one as this other a single element, two as single element, three as single element, four as single element, and it will add that four elements to the list. So that length becomes 13. I'm not sure whether you're able to understand or not. See, in append how we did and in case of extend how we did. In append it added as a list, but in case of extend it took one element, one, one by one element and it added at end. Is it clear now? Yeah, it's clear. Possibly if you're not able to understand, tell me I will repeat again and again. Ah, oh, okay. Is it clear now? Ah, uh, it's clear now. Lakshmi, you? Yes, man, Simon, so clear. Yeah. Okay, this is extend and then we have index. So index, we already know what it's going to do. It will return the uh, 
values index position for example i want to know where what is the index of 6.5 what is the index of 6.5 what it will print index we already know index starts from zero so what is the index of 6.5 2 it will print 2 if you give the value that doesn't exist it won't return you anything okay you don't have that value but you want to check for index it won't return anything okay okay and then insert okay as of now we saw append and extend adding elements to the end of the list but if you want to insert an value at particular position okay you want to insert some value at particular position okay in list 1 i want to insert at position 3 and the value i want to give is c print list see what it did what is the value in your third index 6 but in third index i want to add easy so what it will do it will add easy in third index and it will move 6 to 2 6 number 6 value to fourth index okay so to insert the value at particular index we can use this insert method okay and two parameters you need to pass what is the index and what is the value you want to insert this is for insert okay and we have if you want to delete the values as of now you saw how we can copy and how we can add element how we can delete the values from list okay how you can delete the values from list okay the first method is pop pop so for pop you need to pass index as a value so i want to remove the value 6 what is the index of this uh, value 6 0 1 2 3 so you need to give that index okay see now 6 got removed because it will like when you used pop and if you pass some index there it will remove that value from the particular index when you used pop okay what is a parameter we need to pass index we need to pass based on that index it will remove the value okay and you have one more method to delete remove okay note the difference between pop and remove so for pop you need to pass the index so based on the index it will delete the data but for remove you want you need to pass the value what you want to delete okay see previously if i want to delete six i pass the index to pop but here you can directly pass it that value so it removed six if i want to remove python just i can give python to remove you need to pass value and in case of pop you need to pass the index see if i want to remove python what is the index of python 0 now python got deleted for pop you need to pass index and for remove you need to pass the value that you want to delete is it clear yeah it's clear okay and yesterday we saw how we can reverse a string in the same way there is one built in method to reverse the list okay how we can do reverse 
See, Python came to last, C came to next, like that it reversed. Okay. Is it clear? Is it clear, guys? Yeah, it's clear. And finally, we have sort. See, whenever you are using sort method, the data that you have in your list should be of same type. Okay, it means all should be integers or all should be float or all should be strings. Okay. When you are using sort, if you try to, in my list one, I have different types of data. If you try to apply sort on top of that, see what it will do. It will give you the error. So what it means, it can't compare the string value and integer value. It can't do the comparison. So that all the data inside that list should be of same type whenever you are applying that sort method. Sort means, sorry, it going to do, like uh, it will uh, take the data in ascending order, like 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. It will do in ascending order. Okay, see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 19. This is ascending order. And if you want to sort the data in descending order, reversed equals to true. And reversed. It is a parameter for second. See, uh, to, if you want to uh, sort the data in descending order, just you need to pass this parameter, reverse equals to two. Okay, at that time it will give you in descending order. If you want in ascending order, you no need to pass any parameter and it will do in ascending order. This is sort. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is it clear? These are the methods we have on list.